Hello everybody, this is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk and I've got a flip through. I'm a little behind because I've been dealing with the heat. 100 degree weather still. Missouri, it has been awful this summer. Thankfully, today it was a little cooler. I think, uh, you know, mid to high 80s and hopefully it's going to cool off a little bit more for the rest of the week. So, <laughs> I'm just dealing with the heat. But, I finished, I love this book. I absolutely love this book. So, I got it finished. Um, so, I thought I'd do a flip through. I won't even say it's going to be quick. It's not going to be quick. Um, but, let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, the title is Garden Guy by Months for the Midwest. Okay, this is the original book cover. And the... Um, cover of this is actually from the book jacket of this. Okay, so um, I glued it onto the front cover because I just loved the images. And then I added some trim on the top and bottom. Also, the closure grommet and it's some batik um, fabric on the front and the back. So you can tie it here. Okay, and I will say it is a a gator mouth there's three signatures okay but it is kind of squishy so I mean it's not that bad <laughs> I don't at least I don't think so I like it okay so um, there is a removable tassel and there's some awesome stone beads on this so just a fun little tassel it has a lobster claw that you can remove um, put it on a keychain or whatever, or just remove it if it gets in your way as you're, you know, working in the journal. The back is plain. It's just the nice aged patina of this book. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, so the size of this is five and a half by nine. Okay, and there is three signatures and a total of 168 pages, and that's counting the front and back, front and back, okay? Um... So, let me get started and see. I'll have to tilt it so I can get it in the light here. Okay, so when you first open it, let's see, am I there? Here we go. So there's the fun tie. And let's just kind of flip through original book pages. I kept the first, you know, the book. And is this not an awesome picture? And there is a pocket back here with some goodies I just love that picture okay so you have some little pocket flips you have another pocket here envelope with a pocket and then this side this could be untied and taken off but then underneath of it there's a little collage there um, this kind of has a little hidden tuck spot with some vintage 10 cent buttons I thought were fabulous so I have that and my flowers <laughs> so lots of trim lots of stitching lots of oh uh, there is a gold leaf oops let's see there's a gold leaf charm and then some weird and some botanical so let's see and then some fun flowers and I got coffee dyed paper and I got some garden pages so all this kind of some craft paper a napkin that can be torn out and you can use decoupage with it or whatever um, from the original book and I got fun fabric tabs this is a little flip here. Now this actually turns, and then you have this little notepad here. Okay, and this was an old vintage napkin that was montaged on just for the texture. So there's that. There's a paper bag with some postcards in this one. And then the center. And then we have a pocket. And then on the back side, we have another pocket. And then a fabric pocket with some goodies and a seed packet. So we got that. 
just and then another pocket <laughs> and then just some botan botanical stuff and here's the rest of that napkin here's some fibrous paper just for the texture and then let's see here some more paper some more trims and goodies so uh, hidden paper clip with some stuff in it and then on the back the rest of the hidden paper clip and another tag and then some of that napkin I mod podge down then you have another envelope pocket with something in it and then just here some more stuff some note cards there's two pockets up on top and then this was a vintage handkerchief that was cut up and I just stitched it down and kind of made kind of like a fabric collage and then we have a, another fabric tag and some half pages and some old advertisements uh, here's some more craft paper with some more of that uh, fiber and then there's a doily back there this is a pullout so you have this and then underneath of it is a pocket as well okay and then this next one is a multiple pocket you got stuff here you got stuff in this back one and then one at the very top and you got this little fun cluster and then this the center got a little coloring doodle spot and then some random paper and another I kept the uh, aged envelopes blank because I thought they'd be great journaling spots or whatever you want to do with them um, here is a tag with a pocket and let's see here's another little fabric pocket with a paper clip and it has a little bird charm I wonder if I can show you up close. Can you see the little bird charm? So there's that. And then this is a pocket and it has a little a tag here. And then just some texture. You know, this is a little, this is a sewn on flip. So you have watercolor paper under it. And then on this side, the Making Tree Friends, it has tree photos, and then it has this awesome, awesome photo, this framed photo, and it has a pocket underneath of this, and it has some goodies here. But I just loved this photo with the embroidery on it and stuff, so there's that. Some more book pages, some lace that's inserted just for texture or, you know, you can hang stuff on it, cut it out, whatever pretty this is a full page pocket with stuff up here and the seed we plant with some clusters beans <laughs> some beans um, this is a double pocket so you have this pocket uh, this card here and then you have some goodies back under here and then some craft paper and pocket and then shorthand here's another little pocket this one has another charm on it that was some of that old handkerchief watercolor let's see this is just a little writing spot okay so here's another paper bag that has uh, goodies in it paper clipped it and then this one has a belly band with some stuff in it and on the back side is a just a little card butterfly um, and then this set here you have a couple lady cards um, there and then this pocket here has some stuff in it and then you have just just some fun pages with some 
stitching and some um, fabrics. And then you got, I love this tag. I don't know, there's some about this tag I really like. Just a, that's a fabric pocket. Let's see. Okay, here is my little flip for the forest. You have this. I love this. I just love this. And then you have another uh, pocket with a tag, some trim, flower. And this back page here has a inbuilt pocket with some floral paper. And then we're back to the back of the book where the original pages are. So, and I have a tag there. And then the original, what they used as a library <laughs> card. And that's it. And then it, there we go. And it has, like I said, it has this awesome red batik to it. And I'll just tie it in a bow. And there we go. There we go. And it sits, it stands up if you need to stand up. Like I said, it's pretty stuffed. But I think it looks fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. All right. That wasn't too long. So <laughs> let me know what you think. Um, I will be putting this up on Etsy, I think, sometime uh, tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. So let me know down below what you think. Do you like it? I love it. So I guess that's all that matters. I like it. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.